Hey people, the gimmick boxes first upload on our newly renamed channel, bringing the joy of useful tips and tricks and sometimes totally random videos. In this episode, we are going to configure a Samba file server on Ubuntu that you can access from any Linux or Windows system, even Android and iOS with some tweaks. So let's get started. I'm currently on a fresh Ubuntu 18.04 LTS and let me quickly set up my LAN here. There we go. The server will appear below networks after we set it up in this video. First, I'll create a directory to share over my network. I'll name it share with a capital yes inside my home. I'll also place a text file welcome.txt inside share just in case. gedit is the text editor here and some random text. Here is within root inside home inside Ubuntu. We'll need this path later. Open up terminal. Shortcut is Ctrl Alt T in Ubuntu. And install Samba with opt add super user. Do you want to continue? Yes. Oh, let's do an opt update first. Okay, let's try Samba again. Yes, I want to. Let it install for a while. Then we have to edit smb.conf to add an entry of the directory we want to share. So sudo gedit forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smb.conf as shown in the screen right now. Here's a detailed description of all the available options you get to configure for your server. Like workgroup default for windows let's see some of the other browsable yes or no read only yes or no create mask directory mask valid users to create an entry i'll copy one of the given example template and Add it to the bottom. Remove all the comments. Within the square bracket is out your name. Comment is for the description. Path is as I said earlier. Guest, I'll leave it at no to see what it does. Browsable, yes, I want to browse it. And masks, I'll remove all. Quick save and then restart the SMDB server. Hey, we got our share here. Double click to open and see if I can access it. Since guest is off, 
I can't access it. And I don't have the username or the password to access it as authorized client. So if we turn the guest on, I'll get the permission to do so. Let's quickly do that. I'll change the guest OK to yes. Save and restart the server again to see if I can access this here. So I can access this here and can read the text file created earlier. But we don't want everyone accessing our server and reading our data. So let's use other options for this. Again, let's edit the conf file with gedit. Change guest OK to no and valid users to Ubuntu. Now Ubuntu is me. I'm currently logged in as Ubuntu as a user. You can clearly see this in the terminal Ubuntu at the red Ubuntu or eco dollar user also gives the same. Quick save and exit. Now we have to add the user Ubuntu to Samba's list with SMB password hyphen A Ubuntu. I'll keep a quick password here and then quickly restart my Samba server. Now, without username and password, I can't access it as a guest, but with username, Ubuntu and password root, I can. But am I allowed to create a file here or a folder? No, permission denied. It's currently on read only, so let's quickly change it. Read only equals to no. Restart the server again. Yes, I can now create files and folders as well. To check the users currently accessing your server, we have SMB status. You have the user, the group, the IP address and other details like PID, start time of connection now let's try to connect to our server from an android client i'll need the ip of this machine with ifconfig after i quickly install the tool My machine's IP is 192.168.100.6 and I'll quickly bring my Android to the screen to so next. To test our server on our LAN, I'll connect to the server on my Android. For this, I'll use ES File Explorer, an awesome tool for quickly testing a server. Let's start the setup. 
on the navigation drawer of the ES File Explorer, navigate to LAN inside the network. And add a server with a plus icon, fill in the server IP, username, password, and OK. Wait for a few seconds and there we have it, our share and our files. SMB status shows my devices as well. So this was a quick guide to set up a Samba server easily. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any queries, please write down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next one.